players. Four news getting sued all over the world. Y'all go ahead and grab y'all tea and have a seat, honey. Because this one right here, this is coming in hot and I'm ready to spill. So y'all tell me why one of Four News producers done filed not one but two lawsuits against Four News, honey, alleging that she was coerced into giving testimony in the Dominion Voting Machines case that would place her and Maria Bartiromo as the blame. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. So, Abby Grossman is a producer on Maria Bartiromo's show as well as Tucker to the Tuckster Carlson show. And she filed her lawsuits today in the same damn court that Dominion Voting Machines is having their pretrial hearing in next week with Faux News. I declare, honey, baby, she going in. And she is saying that Faux News lawyers had tried to position her and Maria Bartiromo to take the blame for Faux News' repeated airing of conspiracy theories about Dominion voting machines and its supposed role in manipulating the results of the 2020 presidential election. Maybe in this lawsuit, Miss Abby Grossberg goes all in, honey, about her work life at Faux News on Maria Bartiromo's show, as well as Tucker to the Tuckster Carlson show. She said that she and other women endured frank and open sexism from co-workers and superiors at the network. She said Faux News superiors had called Maria Bartiromo a crazy bitch who is menopausal and asked her to cut her out of the coverage discussion. Now, she said that was hard for her to do, honey, because she was the only full-time staff that Maria Bartiromo had. So it was hard for them to vet any of the uh, election fraud claims Claims that she was that Maria Bartiromo was spewing on that damn show. Also in the lawsuit, she says that she discovered that the show's Manhattan workspace was decorated with large pictures of Representative Nancy Pelosi from California wearing a plunging swimsuit. She said after that discovery, one of Tucker Carlson's top producers called her to his office and asked if Maria Bartiromo was having a ooey gooey relationship with Kevin McCarthy. He also stated that Tucker Carlson's staff joked about Jews and freely deployed a vulgar term for women. He also said when she went to superiors and complained about harassment from two male producers, she was pulled into a meeting with human resources and told that she was not performing her duties. So she was forced on administrative leave at that point. Also in her complaint, she accuses faux news lawyers of coaching her in a coercive and intimidating manner before September's deposition in the Dominion case. She said she was given the impression that she should avoid mentioning prominent male executives and on-air talent to protect them from any blame. Child, so Faux News done filed a lawsuit against her to stop her from talking. Players, put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Mobile for the Black Year News.